This video has been brought to you as a training tool from Chester County Emergency Management. Chester County is a host county to accept evacuees from portions of York County in the case of a radiological issue with the Catawba Nuclear Plant. I'm Ben Grant with Chester County Emergency Management Agency. Chester County is a host county to York County in the event that there is an incident at the Catawba Nuclear Plant. Chester County has four reception centers. We use the Ludlam Model 52-1 Porta Monitor to screen evacuees from York County at each one of our reception centers. This video will cover how to assemble the Porta Monitor and conduct an operational check. The Porta Monitor comes in a container that can be used for shipping and storage. Unpack the container and inventory items to ensure that all pieces are present. The container is equipped with one base section, one bottom left section labeled L1, one top left section labeled L3, one bottom right section labeled R1, one top right section labeled R3, one top section, one electronic section, three D-cell batteries, one radioactive check source. The portal monitor can be assembled without tools, but the use of a quarter can be helpful when installing the batteries. All connections are made with latches. To connect the latch, lift up the bottom tab. Hook the top crossbar into the hook on the piece that you are attaching and push the tab back down until it snaps into place. Set the base on the ground with the rectangular tubes pointing up. Insert the male end of the bottom right section into the female side bracket of the base marked R1 and attach the latches. The detector screens must be facing the middle of the portal. Insert the male end of the top right section into the female end of the bottom right section and attach the latches. Repeat the process for the left side. Insert the top into the tops of the side section and attach the latches. Ensure that the panels are assembled with all red labels on one side and all green labels on the opposite side. Labels are numbered and color coded to assist with correct assembly. Install three D cell batteries into the battery compartment. Plug the connector end of the electronic section onto the back of the bottom left section with the battery compartment end facing down. First, engage the black connectors. Then ensure that the pin on the back of the bottom left section goes into the hole on the electronics section. Attach the latches. Turn on the power switch located on the bottom of the electronics section and allow the instrument to finish updating. To ensure that the instrument is functioning correctly, an operational check should be performed before using the instrument. This check verifies that the instrument is turned on, that the settings are appropriate, and that the system alarms when the detectors are exposed to excess radiation above background level. Operational checks should be performed after setup and before use. As long as the system passes the operational check, no calibration or other checks are necessary. Check each of the detectors for sensitivity to beta and gamma radiation using the radioactive source provided. A check must be conducted on each panel section. Activate the check process by breaking the cross beam with your opposite hand and holding the check source hand toward the panel section being tested. 
Keep the source in place until the alarm sounds. The lights on the electronic section should also come on. Repeat the alarm checks for each panel section. To also provide assurance that the instrument meets the FEMA emergency response criteria prior to the operation of this portal, do the following. Pass the check source through the center of the portal at several points between 0.5 and 5.5 feet from the floor of the portal and verify that the alarm is triggered each time. Hold the check source between your thumb and forefinger when conducting the center line check. This will expose the check source to both sides of the portal monitor. Allow the electronic section alarm to reset before checking the next center line position. A successful center line check will activate either both left and right top or both left and right bottom panel section alarms at the same time. This video is brought to you by Chester County Emergency Management as a series of training videos on radiological response and radiological monitoring.